Good morning. I'm Dr. Eric Swanson. I'm in the private practice of plastic surgery in Kansas City, and I'm speaking on behalf of myself as a physician, not on behalf of any society. And I'm talking about ALCL, which we know is responsible for over 16 deaths worldwide, many of these women dying from the treatment, not the disease itself. Not only have there been many deaths, but there have been hundreds of cases of ALCL in over 500 women that have caused tremendous morbidity to these women in terms of what they've had to go through to treat the disease and to rectify the problem. There was a study initiated by Drs. McGuire and her colleagues out of St. Louis looking at over 17,000 women with macro textured implants. To date, at least eight have developed ALCL. Because there is a lag time of eight to ten years in developing the disease, it appears that probably one in a thousand women or more will eventually be affected by this problem. Now, if there were a tremendous advantage to textured implants over smooth implants, perhaps there could be a discussion of risk versus benefit. But the fact is, there is no advantage to textured implants. In fact, there are a number of disadvantages. Texturing was originally developed to reduce the capsular contracture rate, but most surgeons put the implant under the muscle, so actually it is not advantageous in a submuscular placement. It was also designed to avoid rotation of implants, but that's uh, not needed if the implant is round, and it appears that they rotate regardless of texturing. So the case for texturing is weak to begin with. Now people believe that uh, ALCL may be caused by infection. Um, in fact, textured implants have a much higher rate of bacterial colonization than smooth implants. But regardless of the exact cause, one thing is for certain, there is a strong link between texturing and ALCL, and at this point I'm not aware of a case of a patient treated entirely with smooth implants developing ALCL. So really from an ethical standpoint, there is no justification for using textured implants in women. We can get the job done with saline implants and save hundreds of women from this very serious problem that requires additional investigation and treatment that, is, that can be harmful for women. Thank you.